So for those of you who are looking to minimize your water usage, we're gonna show you today how we wash our dishes and use very minimal water out here. So we're gonna be out here for a while, so we really need to keep our water usage down to a minimum. We're gonna share with you today, for our family of three, how we wash our dishes, keep them clean, keep them sanitary, but really use just a minute bit of water. So let's jump right into this. We have two kits for cleaning dishes. One is for large groups, lots of dishes. Today we are only going to show you the small kit where we minimize water and we don't have a lot of dishes. This is our water saving dish washing station. You want to do some dishes? Yeah. Okay. So obviously our way of cleaning dishes isn't the only way of saving water. As usual, let us know your tips below. We created this channel to give back to the community and share some of the things we've learned. But selfishly, we also love learning from you. And these videos have had us change many of the ways we do things with our teardrop. So we're excited to see what you guys have. So when we're done cooking, we just put some water in a pot, heat it up, we're gonna throw it in a thermos and we'll show you why we do that later. Who needs toys when you can play with the toilet? You know you're Asian when you go out camping and you have chopsticks. Pancake syrup and bacon grease. You know how hard it is to get bacon grease off of pots. Check this out. All right, so after breakfast, we are going to do some dishes. And I'm actually gonna be the person doing the dishes, which is, um, which never happens because my husband is super sweet and he does all the dishes when we're out camping. So if it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, because I've never done dishes before while camping. This is our wash bin. It's not really to, we don't fill it up with water. We just use it to catch the dirty water from washing the dishes. Um, we love it because it just folds up really small and fits right in this little Tupperware. So next is the spray bottle. This one only has water. It's mainly just so we can get some force to kind of spray off. This is something new. We learned from Cosmo Weems. Uh, this is going to be our cleaning solution. This morning, plate with bacon grease and pancake syrup all over it. Here we go. Baking soda goes in to kind of break things up. So the baking soda that we learned from Cosmo Weems, it works even without water. So when we're backpacking, We'll wash the pans with just water alone and it always leaves some sort of grease. I've noticed you just throw the baking powder in there and or the baking soda and it's like granular so it just scrapes off all the junk in the plate and it doesn't leave that grease behind. Add that water and some soap to it and you're not gonna have any grease. And we actually use less water cleaning our dishes than we do washing our hands or our face. Rub it in East, rub it in. Good spray. Oh, good job. Okay, that's good. Soap. This is our biodegradable soap. It works great for us, but we do also use Dawn dish soap for stains that have been stuck on, and just the Dawn is just a lot stronger, but we prefer to use this um, whenever possible. Yeah. Can I do that? Hold on, bud. Oh, too much, too much. Just a little tiny bit. Pop. We normally would bring a scour pad that has no foam in it, but we forgot it. This is our scrubber. We love it because it's very thin. It doesn't have, it's just thin so bacteria doesn't build up in it. It folds up really small. You can fold it up into a sponge if you want or you can use it as a rag. It has um, kind of a rough surface on this side to um, clean uh, stuck on things and then a softer side on this. Grab our 3M scrubber and go to town. Good job. So this one, it's as you can see, was our pancake batter. 
mixing bowl and it's completely crusted. So what we do is just grab some of our hot water from earlier. Can I do it? Pour a little bit in there, it's hot maybe. And then just kind of swish it around. Get it to loosen a bit. Kind of get all that pancake batter off. Helps when you have nice long nails. This is something that is super awesome. It just is designed to work on lots of different surfaces and you just kind of use it to take really hard crud off dishes. All right, so if you don't have long nails like me, <laughs> you use this cool little thing. Oh wow, look at that. It's like, it's like getting that itch that you couldn't reach. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. <laughs> You can't forget the strainer, right? The strainer is from our glory days when we used to backpack. I know, right? Um, <laughs> this is to just catch any food and then we throw the food from here into our trash bin. And that way it's just separated and it's bear safe. And then we throw our gray water um, just in the trees. While we're over here trying to minimize water, East is over there trying to <laughs> use up all of the water. Right? Yeah. Okay. You want to watch Mama pour the water in here? I'm going to see. Boop. Gunky, gunky, gunk. Gunky, yep. gunk. Yep. Look at that. Yucky. So the water catch doesn't really work when you don't have a lot of water like this like today but normally if you're using a lot of water and you have a lot of dishes then it works really well to just catch all that nasty strainer catches a lot more food when you do bigger meals like spaghetti which we have for tonight or noodles or you know like little meat pieces or things like that one last spray of water to make sure everything is clean all right you want to take out the green one so this is our sanitizing bottle which has vinegar and vodka in it to just clean everything off get those bacteria off i'm just going to do myself okay you're gonna do it yourself yeah okay just two squirts okay two squirts two squirts okay that was definitely more than we forgot our rags that so paper towels it is Okay, wipe, wipe, wipe. We always keep paper towels and paper plates around for this reason. When you forget stuff. This is our catch water from this morning's dishes. And we are going to dump it here. And we'll just do a broadcast throw. So let me, oh, excuse me baby. But try not to hit the toddler. Because then you'll have to wash him. So, ready? Ready to watch mama throw the water? Yeah. And that's pretty much basically just easier for mother nature to decompose and it's not all in one area. Or you can just dig a cat hole, dump it in there and then just cover it up. Can you say that easy? Say da -da. Da -da. Who needs Dawn dish soap when you can just use a little bit of natural stuff? Right? Or we'll use Don dish soap. Or Don dish soap, but we didn't use Don dish soap for real on this. Connor. Okay, now wipe right here. That spot. Okay. The table's clean now. 